sana tamu sana tamu sana is tamu sana through a press statement today omingo magara a very close william ruto ally and former south mugirango member of parliament announced to the whole nation that he was quitting uda so in this video i want us to have a look at that press statement where omingo magara announced that he was quitting uda after which as usual here we are just going to dissect that to see the exact reasons why omingo magara quit uda have a look at this dear fellow kc council residents and kenyans at large first and foremost i send a goodwill message to all kenyans from all walks of life i pray that 2022 being an election year we show maturity we display no tolerance by accommodating divergent views knowing too well at the end of it all kenya must win by having all of us unite and grow our nation as peace loving brothers and sisters secondly i would like to thank all those that have supported me in my political journey i promise to continue being resilient honest and accountable to my people whom i serve with humility and a dis distinction for a long time i have harbored an ambition to be a kisi county governor through the uda party where I was also the national treasurer. There, was, there have since been developments that render my candidature through UDA party impossible. After considerable reflection and consultations with my people in Kisi County, national leaders, family and friends, my political future and ambitions must be sufficiently addressed, must, must not, cannot be sufficiently addressed by the UDA party. I therefore immediately resigned as a party member and as a treasurer. I continue talking to other political players with a view to finding political suitors that align with my vision for Kenya and that, that will respect the ethos of inclusivity by crafting a future that weaves a fabric that appreciates every Kenyan's dream and aspirations. As you can imagine, this has been such a heavy decision to make as we must always allow the voice of people we seek to lead prevail over the uh, above and above the personal ambitions and that that the voice seeks to be wait, wanting a different direction from a path and i currently or i'm currently on the voice of the people is ultimately the voice of god finally let us all be vigilant for poli politics comes and goes but we as people as a people as a nation must remain united to allow us usher in the golden age of our republic god bless kenya god bless kisi county and i thank you yes that's omingo magara and from that press statement omingo magara is just trying to insinuate that he cannot realize his political ambition or rather dream in order what does that mean politically that's our analysis and a discussion right now. In case you've just bumped here for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. Why is Omingo Magara actually quitting order? From where I sit, I strongly believe that there are only two strong reasons that can explain why Omingo Magara is quitting order. And I'm going to explain those two reasons in detail. The first reason, Omingo Magara is quitting order because the Gusi Nation, both Nyamira County and Kisi County, are hostile to William Ruto, hostile to order, and hostile to any leader or candidate or aspirant campaigning for William Ruto or aligning himself to William Ruto. That's the first reason Omingo is quitting order. The second reason, Omingo is quitting Uda because he wants to be part of the next government. He is not quitting Uda so that he can be elected as a governor because from where I see it, I'm seeing that to be a tall order. But Omingo Magara wants to be part of the next government. Let's start with the first reason. From the past by elections that have been done 
in both Nyamira and Kisi counties, William Ruto's party, or other candidates aligning themselves with William Ruto, have performed very dismally in those two counties. And largely, ODM party has won in all the by-elections that have been done in Kisi County. And largely, if you look at William Ruto's campaigns in both Nyamira and Kisi counties, William Ruto has not been having it all that easy in those areas. Most of his rallies have been characterized by a lot of heckling and some kind of hooliganism. Just some few days ago, one William Ruto known ally was captured live on camera, slapping a woman who was actually shouting as a meal. So in the recent days, we have likely been seeing William Ruto's rallies in both Nyamira County and Kisi County faced with a lot of hostility. Hostilities that have clearly exposed William Ruto as very unpopular in those two counties. And that unpopularity largely emanates from 2007. Because from 2007, it's widely believed that a good number of Kisi community, the Guzi nation, might have been affected as a result of 2007 post-election violence. And William Ruto is alleged to have, to, to have had a hand in those, in those skirmishes. So I believe that is something that is actually making William Ruto very unpopular in the two Guzi counties. And then secondly, if you look at top leaders in the Kisi nation, or rather in Gusi nation, almost all top leaders are currently supporting Azimio. So that is also actually influencing the ground towards Raila Mulu Odinga and the ground towards Azimio. And there are no notable or other serious political leaders supporting William Ruto currently. Those who are supporting William Ruto have largely deserted William Ruto for Raila Mulu Odinga. And now as I talk, from the Gusi nation, the only notable leader still hanging on, still hanging, supporting William Ruto is only Silvanus Osoro, South Mugirango member of parliament. But also from the ground in South Mugirango, it's very likely that Omingo, Ma, Omingo not Omingo Magara, Silvanus Osoro, if an election was to be done in South Mugirango, um, Silvanus Osoro most likely will lose that seat. So the ground is actually very hostile to William Ruto, to Uda, and to any leader supporting William Ruto. Omingo Magaram just want to have a favorable opinion from residents of Kisi County. That's why he is deserting William Ruto. The second reason, Omingo Magara wants to be the governor of Kisi. But from where I see it, as I talk right now, Omingo Magara, if he's a smart politician, who I know he is, I know he already knows that chances of him winning that gubernatorial seat is almost is zero. Hmm? Chances are very high he won't win that seat. Be it through order or be it through which party. Because as I talk, they are very strong candidates and aspirants who already have a head start. If you talk about gubernatorial seat in Kisi County, most likely Simba Arati will most easily win that seat. That is the actual truth from the ground. And Omingo Magara, I know he knows that. So even if he was to cross over to Azimio or rather to ODM, then he squares it out with the likes of Omingo Magara the likes of Professor Ongeri in ODM nomination, most likely he won't be able to beat those candidates. He won't be able to beat Arati or even Ongeri in ODM nomination. So I strongly believe Omingo Magara is alive to that fact. Omingo Magara knows that winning Kisi gubernatorial seat through whichever party is almost something that is impossible. But Omingo Magara is cleverly positioning himself to be part of the next government. Omingo Magara 
wants to be part of the next government. He wants to be the next government. So Omingo Magara, from where I see, he wants to closely associate himself with Raila Molo Odinga, or rather with any Azimio party, eh, that now he will just use that to maybe begin after election come August. Mm. So that it, maybe after election, he will easily go to maybe Raila Molo Odinga or to any other party, or rather any other leader in Azimio to maybe find some soft landing spot. Because Omigo Magara, I know is a seasoned politician. He has looked at all the options. He has looked at the possibility of William Ruto forming government. And then he has also looked at the possibility of Raila forming the next government. Omingo believes <laughs> that Raila will most definitely form that government and not William Ruto. So Omingo Magara just want to position himself in Azimio so that in the event Raila forms government or Azimio forms government, he might have a soft landing spot. He maybe can just get a job in that government. And Omingo Magara knows he, will, he won't be able to get that, jo that job in the next government through Oda because he strongly believes Oda most likely will not form the next government. And I'm saying that because as I talk right now, it's coming out clearly that William Ruto is actually declining mm, across the nation as Raila Amolo Odinga's popularity rise across the nation. So if you can only project that to about the remaining six or seven months, then it is very clear that most definitely Azimio team will form the next government. And that's exactly what Omingo Magara has already seen. He just wants to be part of that government. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, before I conclude, I strongly believe that those are the two main reasons why Omingo Magara has actually quit ODA. First reason, Omingo Magara, the ground in the Gusi Nation, or rather in Gusi Nation, the Omogusi community, is hostile to William Ruto, hostile to ODA, and hostile to any leader supporting Ruto. Secondly, Omingo Magara wants to be in the next government. And from where I see it, he believes that that next government will be formed by Azimio and not William Ruto and his Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. And Omingo Magara just want to have a soft landing spot in the event he does not actually win the gubernatorial seat or any elective seat in this year's election. I believe those are the two reasons that explains why Magara quit Uda. In case you've bumped here, and so far you have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. Thank you, God bless you, God bless Kenya.